Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you guys are doing great. So for today's class, we are going to study the road not taken by Robert Frost, which is a class 9 English poem. This poem has a very important message, so hear this carefully. So the poem starts with the author Robert Frost was standing at one point or a junction and from there the road was diversified into two roads and he was confused which road to take but he has to choose one road as he could not travel on both he stood for a long time and tried to analyze them by looking at the roads as far as he can so that he can decide which one was a better option In these lines the author is basically trying to tell not to take decisions fast in your life just wait and analyze the situation first analyze the pros and cons then decide which is best for you because decisions can impact your future Then in another lines author chose the road which seemed less walked over which means he chose path which many people have not chosen and it was grassy too then he realized that the both path looked same in the morning then he decided that he will walk on one today and another tomorrow but he knew that he would never get the chance to walk over it Here poet wants to convey that sometimes we decide to take a decision and think that he might change in future but we also know that we don't get that same chance again because time never comes back once it passes by In the last few lines author says that in the future he will take deep breath and say that once upon a time he reached a point in life where he had to choose where he had to make a choice at that time he decided to take road which was less traveled by people and that decision changed his entire life the poet wants that people should decide wisely in their life because the decision they take will have an impact on the rest of their life so it was all about the summary I hope you liked it. I hope you got to understand something and you learned the message. Now we are going to discuss some poetic devices of this poem. First literary device used is symbolism, which means use of symbols to signify ideas and qualities by giving them symbolic meanings that are different from their literal sense. For example in this poem the line two roads represent two or more choices in our life that means road symbolizes choice second one is anaphora which is a device that features repetition of a word or phrase at the beginning of successive sentence phrases or clauses for example in this poem and sorry i can't not travel both and be one travel both and look down one as far as i could so here the sentences started with and all the three sentences has started with and so this is a repetition in the beginning this is called anaphora third is alliteration which is a device that features repetition of a consonant sound for example because it was grassy wanted where here wanted and where have repetitive sound or a consonant sound of w fourth is repetition repetition is the repeating word or phrase for example two roads diverged in a yellow wood this line is repetitive in another stanza also so do not get confused between anaphora and repetition these two are very different That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and if you have any doubt you can ask in comment section. Also please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.